Well, it's Middlesbrough at the Riverside Stadium on Sunday lunchtime for the Hornets. Uh, let's get the thoughts of former Watford midfielder Derek Payne. Derek, uh, how should Watford be approaching Sunday's game? Well, they've, they've had a warning from uh, Burnley. It'd be a similar game to the Burnley game, you know. Middlesbrough, a fella promoted side like Burnley was. And obviously, uh, Watford should have learnt some lessons from the Burnley game. It's going to be a tough game. Every game that Middlesbrough have played, it's been quite tight, it's been quite close, they're very competitive. So I'm sure Watford will be aware of that. It's just how Watford need to, you know, match their effort, definitely got to match their work rate. Because these sides that have just been promoted, they are fighting to stay in the uh, Premier League, exactly like Watford done last season. They're fighting for every point, so it's important Watford match the work rate. You mentioned about lessons learned from the Burnley game. What, what do Watford need to do better uh, on Sunday? Yeah, I think they need to. Um, they they know what's coming. You know, Middlesbrough are going to be working hard. They are going to fight and scrap for every point. And and so in the game, every tackle, every second ball. You know, on the on the night at Burnley, we didn't win enough second balls. We didn't we didn't get around them enough. So they will have to learn that. They will have to be competitive. And and the old saying was earn the right to play. And it's really a case of that. Watford need to earn the right to play. And um, I do believe they've got a great chance if they're tactically right as well. The big debate amongst the supporters uh, following probably the last game here when Isaac's success got his, his first goal and we've seen cameos from him off the bench. Is he ready to start, in your opinion? Oh, I feel he's ready to start. He's, um, he's a great example to anyone who's, who's a substitute, whatever level of football you're at. He comes on the pitch, he impacts, and he makes the manager think, well... You know, do I put him in the side? So he's a great lesson to anyone who is a sub. He comes on with the right attitude. He goes and expresses himself. And I feel he's ready to start, but obviously it's the head coach's choice. And also, if he does play, you've got to get the balance right. He's, he's very attacking. He's very positive, but also he's very young. And, and the defensive side of his game definitely needs work, work, work on it. So it's the balance behind him, I believe, is how you can play him. And if you get the balance right behind him, I think you can start him. Could be a big weekend for Troy Deeney. Um, we've spoken about him at length over the years, haven't we? He's on 99 watt for goals. Just how big an achievement would that be if he can hit the century mark this weekend? Yeah, he's, he's been brilliant for this club. He's, he's a great role model and uh, the captain of the side. And uh, yeah, we've always spoke well about Troy Deeney. And the thing with Troy Deeney, he gets written off a lot of times. And I always say to people, don't write him off because as soon as you write him off, he'll come back and make you look stupid. And uh, I hope he gets his 100th goal and he deserves it. He, he puts everything into his game. You can see his focus and, and he just gets on with what he needs to do his job. So really hope he gets it. And he, if anyone deserves it, it is Troy Deeney. Last one, quick prediction. I feel we can win there. I think if we get the tactics right, they'll, they'll come on to us. I think they'll look at this game, Middlesbrough, as being at home. They need to get their points at home on their home turf. And even in their last two games, they've lost by the odd goal. I think they commit more men going forward at home and I think Watford have got the capability to, to ca catch them on the counter-attack and beat them. Let's hope Derek is right. You can follow all the action right here on watfordfc.com on our Matchday Live feed.